Robots and other Hello. intelligent technical what systems are on the increase. Hello, How we can enable them to like work to with coffee. us in the best possible way is the subject of the work of a cluster yes. named Cotesis Cognition for Technical Systems. In the Cotesis cluster, teams from different Munich-based research institutions are working on providing technical systems with cognitive capabilities like the power to learn or the capacity for independent actions, skills that, up to now, only living things possess. For these machines and robots to help us, we need to be able to communicate with them easily and naturally. The goal in this Excellence Research Cluster is to build bridges among disciplines, between disciplines, uh, for new endeavors in research and development in this exciting field of robotics and automation. Working on such complex problems requires a team in which multiple disciplines collaborate. The CCRL, Cotesa Central Robotics Laboratory, not only includes experts in the technical disciplines, but also psychologists and other specialists working on truly fundamental issues. Successful common action requires that the agents do adapt their movements to the environment and to the interaction partner. Humans are very flexible in doing so and in fact their interaction is very intuitive. We are investigating how humans plan and coordinate their action. Uh, the idea is that the robots we are working on in Cortesis are supposed to be ro robots that adopt their behavior also to the humans so that a natural and intuitive interaction becomes possible. The results of their research are helping to optimize communication with the robots. In the Cognitive Kitchen, the aim is for robots to learn to find their way around an unfamiliar environment. Then, complex tasks will follow, such as setting a table. In order to do this, the robot will need to consider and answer many questions. What is a cup? When do I stack plates? When do I bring them to the table? How many people are having breakfast today? And do they have any particular preferences? Everyday manipulation in uh, human environments like kitchen pose a number of challenges for the robots. They have to make many decisions. They have to decide where the robot should stand in order to grasp an object, how to reach for the object, uh, where to grasp it, how much force to apply to lift it up and where to hold it afterwards. And all these decisions, they cannot be programmed in advance by uh, programmers, but the robot itself has to make the decision, taking into account the context in which uh, the action has to be performed. So an example is, if it wants to pick up a bottle, the right grasp depends on what it wants to do with the bottle. If it wants to fill a glass, then it will take the body of the bottle. If it wants to put it away, then it will uh, grasp the uh, neck of the bottle. The reason machines were invented in the first place was to take identical and physically demanding tasks away from humans. Yet in the factory of the future, production lines will be able to do much more. The aim is for them to be self-learning and therefore constantly adjusting and improving their work processes. It is hoped this will bring the advantages of intelligent, automated systems closer to even small and medium-sized companies. Es ist eine Palette am Wand verfügbar. Soll ich sie holen? Roboter, ja, bitte. Gut, dann hole ich die Palette. Welcome to the Cognitive Factory, another aspect of the Cotesis Cluster's work. The Cognitive Factory is, it will be much more easily to adapt to changes, changed boundary conditions and to disturbances. It will be able to optimize itself during production, gain experience and improve during runtime. In a much better way, it will be able to, to integrate uh, human workers and to collaborate and cooperate with them. So we'll have a true uh, cooperation between robots and humans at their workplace. New guidance systems will allow uh, the, uh, the human worker to get information at the time it is required and in a way it is perfect for the specific worker. So the Cognitive Factory will, uh, be, uh, will be able to optimize itself to integrate humans and to guide them uh, with instructions at the time it, that it is needed. The researchers are not out to replace humans by robots. 
Cotesis sees robots as partners helping people to accomplish even more highly skilled tasks better and faster than before. Hallo Jürgen, was brauchst du denn? Hallo Ilias, kannst du mal schauen, welche Schrauben ich für das Werkstück brauche? Ich glaube, bei deinem Werkstück sind die M6 Imbusschrauben in der Stückliste eingetragen. Bis später. Robert Elias is already helping his human partner with a wide range of tasks. His ultra-fast eyes still need to be operated by a human, but even that system will soon be independent. Of course, the Cotesis cluster has many other research projects on the way, and a lot more clever young scientists who are hungry for knowledge and keen to teach robots and other technical systems an even greater range of skills. Our vision is it to provide technical systems, among them robots, with cognitive functionalities. And the cognitive functionalities we understand things like that the technical system can learn from experience, uh, it can robustly react to unforeseen events in the environment and it can interpret in, in its environment. A very special focus is here also on the very intuitive and natural cooperation between human and robots. The fact that robots will have an ever greater role to play in the future is beyond doubt. Just how well they will be able to cooperate with us and how well they will work for us depends on the research results from clusters like Cotesis.